Hi guys! Hello. People. Welcome to back to my Welcome channel. To the back of her channel. Are you making fun of I just stuttered? <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, my name is Hannah Renee, and this is Alec Renee. No, <laughs> and we're doing a engagement Q and A because we're engaged. Look it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. My ring is going to get resized, but I have one, so it's just not with me. But without further ado, let's just jump right on in to this video. I moved the camera a lot. I'm sorry if that just changed. But we're gonna start with the first question was, how did you guys meet Day and then get engaged? So it's like the whole story and the everything. The whole story of us. So how did we meet? So we met at a McDonald's a long time ago. Uh, me and Hannah have known each other for ever. 10 years. It's been a long time. We've, we've been friends and we've known each other for a long time. Um, and the first time I met her, I was uh, out to like lunch with her family um, after church one day or something. And I remember she choked on a french fry. <laughs> and that was the first thing I remember of Hannah was her so embarrassing. choking on a french fry. I didn't know this person that I just choked yeah, on a french fry in front of them. she was like choking and like, you know when you like choke on like something and like your eyes start to water? Yeah! That's kind of what was happening. And that was the... That was the first impression I had of uh, <laughs> Hannah, was her choking on a french fry. So from there, he apparently wanted to stick around and be my friend. I didn't scare yeah. him off. So we were friends for a long time. We just yeah. went on and off from hating each other to being friends yeah, the entire time. Yeah, kind of back and forth for years. One day when um, we were both at like this, uh, we were at a church and we were, we were at like this worship night or something and like I just remember for me personally, the Lord, you know, um, at the time we were both in other relationships, but um, the Lord kind of spoke to me that night and made it clear that the relationship that I was in was really not the one I was supposed to be in. And uh, so from there, I just kind of like began this, um, this realization of who I was supposed to be with. And it was, you know, it was Hannah. And so the Lord just kind of started speaking to us in that way and you're speaking to me in that way. And so that was kind of how I knew you know, that I wanted to be with Hannah. And on my side of the situation, I felt like God was telling me that I need to be with Alec like several months prior when I went to the prayer room and I was by myself at our church and I was scared by that. And I was like, no, that must not be from Jesus. So I left the prayer room. She was more disobedient than I was. Um, <laughs> because but, the moment I heard, I think like that week is when I, I ended my other relationship and you know, was beginning to follow what the Lord would said, but you know, she waited several months, so um, just didn't want to it's follow okay. the Lord, I guess. It's okay. You sound like a pastor saying that. <laughs> we eventually ended up together. We ended our other relationships and we started dating in the end of 2017, sounds, I want to say. Sounds right. Something like that. So we started dating in. 2017 and then in 2018 we were asked to be youth pastors as you already know and have heard a lot about mm -hmm. so we did that together we started in junior high and then we did the whole youth group and we did that for over a year which was a lot of fun mm -hmm. it's definitely yeah not easy if anyone has ever done that before it's not for the faint of heart so it was a very it was a very challenging aspect, especially for, you know, a beginning relationship, but I feel like it helped us along the way, um, really begin to understand how we both think and how we work. So it was really a blessing to be a part of that. So, um, yeah, so we were youth pastors together for about a year. Summer 2019. Summer 2019, we moved uh, out to Tennessee and um, we've both just been working. She's been going to school and, you know, it's been a really stretching and growing period for both of us. And uh, I remember when, uh, you know, we announced to the church that we were going to come out here and all that. Uh, everyone was beginning to ask, you know, when, you know, I was going to propose and when the wedding was and all of that. And I, I pretty much just told everyone the same thing. And it was that I want to get out here and get settled and get uh, get my life figured out a little bit, get my feet under me, you know, 
you know, now, now I've come out here, I've got an apartment and started to really get, you know, life going on my own at first before, you know, I bring Hannah into that. So we should just talk about the proposal, but in two different sides. So I'll say my side first. And basically in January, so last month, I asked him, I said, do you still want to get married this summer? Because we had talked about it before. And he said, yes. And I said, well, okay. So if you want to do that, you have to let me start planning things because it's not going to happen if I don't start planning things. So he said, sure, I guess. And then I started planning all sorts of wedding things starting in January because I knew that we didn't have a ton of time. So I've been doing that and I've been expecting a proposal ever since then. And all my friends from school have been placing bets <laughs> on when it's going to happen. And we all kind of thought it would happen yeah. on the same day. So it's February 11th and we went on a date. So my friends were talking about it all day. So I got ready. Like I actually curled my hair and everything because I was like, I'm just going to be prepared. And so I was prepared. I got my nails done the day before I was ready. He picked me up from my school. So I jumped in the car and we drove to downtown and he went to the top of a parking garage. We normally go to parking garages. So that's like not abnormal, but yeah. So we went up there and he said, we're going to take pictures. So he jumped out of the car and he walked me over to this one spot and he said, this is where you're going to stand right here. And he placed me there. And then that's when he knelt down and everything and did his little speech. So then that happened and his friend was there, his coworker, he's actually a photographer. So he took all the pictures that you saw earlier. So that was super cool. And then after that, we went to a fancy restaurant and then we went back to my school to see all my friends and they threw me a surprise party. So yep. that was pretty fun. So. That's her side of the story. Now I'll tell mine. You know, for me, I was trying to figure out a way, and this was the hardest part, was figuring out a way to, you know, make it some, like, somewhat special, somewhat sentimental, because the hard part for moving out here, we've only been here about six, seven months. We really don't have too much, you know, like, memories or, like, you know, unlike back in California, you know, there's a lot of things that we experience together. And one of the things that we always do is typically we meet uh, in the city, and we go, you know, on our dates, you know, like, cause I live about, you know, 30 minutes from the city. She lives about 25 ish from the city. So typically what we'll do is we'll meet in the middle and we'll meet, you know, in the city. And we normally meet at the same parking garage and kind of go from there. So that's the parking garage that uh, I decided to propose on top of. Uh, there's a lot of cool spots to take pictures. And, you know, I just figured it would be the most sentimental. So that's what we did. We went to the parking garage and, you know, it's not unlike Hannah to take pictures up there. So that was kind of what we were doing. Went about the proposal, said my little speech, went to uh, like a seafood dinner. It was super good. She also got steak, but that's besides the point. Now I'm getting hungry. Um, it's like two weeks later since we filmed that last part. So she, for some reason, every time she asked me to be in a video, she forgets to charge the battery. So we get where we're going and we start doing the video and then the battery dies and then she gets upset. And then I get upset. We're gonna finish it. So we were talking about our engagement and what we did. And we ended with talking about what we ate, which was seafood, which was good. But after that, we went back up to the parking garage where we got in, or he proposed actually. Um, and we were sitting in his car and I said, very cheesily, we should dance in the parking lot. So we did. And we danced to Can I Have This Dance from High School Musical 3. Don't even know that song. And it was great. <laughs> and then after that, we like listened to a few songs. We jumped back in the car. We were waiting for the photographer to send us the pictures of the proposal. And while we we're waiting, a security guard comes up to us. And he says that we have to get out of the parking garage, that we can't stay up on the top, just hanging out. So Alec says to him. I just told him what we were doing. Like, it's not like we were doing anything crazy. And we were just like sitting up there enjoying the night. So I told him, I was like, hey, 
we just got engaged and we're just trying to enjoy the night. And from there, he then changed his tone. He changed his tone to be more congratulatory rather than very rude and abrasive. But while I told him that, I was probably very rude and abrasive as well. Yeah. Um, but <laughs> he changed his tone and then he kind of walked away and we just waited for a second longer. And we were about to leave anyways. It wasn't like we were staying very much longer. So we went to our dorm and all my friends were there. We were super excited. And we talked to them for a little bit and then Alec left and I went up to my room and my friends had an engagement party that they threw for me in the matter of two hours because I sent them the picture of the ring two hours before and then two hours later they had all this food they made a playlist for the party they filmed videos on my camera which I'll actually show you little clips of them and I'm so excited to see how you and Alec pour into into each other in this marriage um, like you guys already have been um, while dating. You and Alec are so cute together and you're literally just the epitome of best friendship going into marriage and so that's the best thing you can have. Congratulations you are engaged. This is something that you've wanted and prayed for. I'm so happy that you yes. have it. Ah, I love you. I'm just so happy for you and I'm grateful for the experiences that you guys will get to have together and that you've had already together. It was super cute that they did that all for yeah, me yeah super cool so it was a really good day and now we're great. here yep. two weeks later and we are fiance <laughs> the first question i know that's like a long time but we wanted to get that part out of the way and now we're gonna ask not ask now we're gonna answer the other some questions. other questions also look look at this oh i have the ring this time last time we filmed the first part i didn't have it i think I was getting so, resized. Yeah. But now I have it. It's still like a teensy bit big, but I feel like it's not too big to where it's going to fall off. Like it gets stuck on my knuckle. So yeah. that's good. Next, we're going to talk about anything related to the wedding. So the first question that we got is like, when is the wedding going to be? And we have a date. Uh, it's, <laughs> it's, in the, it's in the summer. So. so it'll be in the summer. The other thing we were asked a lot was uh, where is it gonna be? So we've actually talked about this long before this moment ever came. Um, but we knew that uh, when we moved out here to Tennessee, one, we knew that we would be getting married sooner rather than later in terms of that. So what we kind of had already discussed, like it'd be a lot easier for us to get any of the few people we've made really close connections with here in Tennessee to California than it would for be, would than it would for us to get all of our close friends in California out here to Tennessee. So we already decided a long time ago, we will be having the wedding in California. So we're gonna do that. The next question is, are you gonna write your own vows? And that's yes. yes. We'll probably bring up papers with us yeah. because I'm not gonna remember. I don't know, that. I'm really good at winging things, but I feel like if I wing that, I would get in trouble. Um, not that it wouldn't sound great most likely, <laughs> but I probably would get in trouble. Um, so I'll, I'll probably write down a few thoughts. I might have like, you know, typical pastor bullet point notes. <laughs> do you know what style of dress you want? Yes, and I do. Um, I would like, <laughs> I would like mine to be fully white and I would also like it to have a, like no back and then like a lace, like arm, like long I'm sleeve. Done. I'm done with you. That's what I want. No, I am going to insert a picture of what kind of dress that I want. I just want it to be really simple. It's definitely gonna be strapless. The next thing we were asked is if we are taking applications for ring bearer. And the answer is yes, Tanner, we are taking applications. <laughs> um, feel free to submit your application to Hannah Renee something at gmail.com. Just ask her for it. We'll make a full application just for you. Uh, but <laughs> Send yeah. us a video yeah. of how you <laughs> how bear you rings. It. Yeah, we wanna see your, your qualifications. So if you can send us a video of you walking down like a hallway carrying like a <laughs> ring pop and you know we'll see we'll see if you make the cut next is alex manager is named rachel and yeah. she said can rachel have a facebook live stream to get to watch the wedding which we most likely will do yeah we want to try and do something like that so that way people who aren't invited can still you know be a part of it with us 
Next one is, will Donald Glover be at the wedding? No. Honestly, I had to look it up because I didn't remember. But once I saw his face, I was like, oh, I know who that is. Childish Gambino. So, no. But we should invite him because maybe he'll come. You never know. And he'll think like, oh, Glover. Like I must be related. <laughs> That would be so funny. We might do that just we'll for fun. And if not, maybe he'll send us money, you know? Who knows? We will find out. Okay, now we're going to move on to questions about life after the wedding. Where are we going to end up living? So we will be living here in Tennessee still. We're not really planning, at least not anytime soon, leaving. We just uh, got here. So <laughs> we, we actually really like it here too. We're going to be living close to the city that my parents live in and also close to my job because I am going to be commuting to school rather than living at school. I think someone else asked that too. I'm not going to be living at school, but I am going to commute and I am going to continue going. So I wanted to at least live close to where I work. So I don't have to drive to two different places. The one we got asked a lot, and this is very premature for all of you people. <laughs> who asked this question. Literally, we just got engaged. Yes, we will want kids. <laughs> like, yes, but y'all need to calm down. We will have kids. It's just, it's probably gonna be at least like three years, like at least. So that's to answer that question. The other question we had that was in regards to that was how many? And so um, how many kids do you guys wanna have? It's funny because when I was younger, I used to want more, but the older I'm getting, the less oh I want. Like, <laughs> like uh, like I used to want when I was younger, I used to want like four. Um, that was kind of like the, the number I had settled in my head when I was younger. But now that I'm older, I'm like one or two sounds okay. <laughs> sounds good. <laughs> See, when I was younger, I used to say I have to beat my mom because oh my I'm competitive. <laughs> so I was like six because my mom has five. No, but now God. I'm like settled at four. And I'm settled at two. So we're going to compromise <laughs> and go f for three. Um, so what I really want is to have sisters because I didn't have a sister and I think that'd be fun. So we gotta have sisters. <laughs> and I want all girls. boys, so. <laughs> no, you don't. I want, you want you're gonna want I want, I want more boys than girls. Well, this That's is a my, problem. We've never just, talked about this part. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. Stay tuned. Yeah, in like five years. <laughs> Okay, so we have a few random ones that we are going to answer. The first one is, how comparable are you guys? And Compar I think comparable is the wrong word. I think they meant compatible. Is the probably, word, actually. Is the word they meant to speak. Do you type. like the same things or not? I would probably say we are pretty opposite. I'm more of like a like a sports type guy, and she more of like as a hate sports type girl. <laughs> So there's that. Um, okay. But even like the way like we handle like anger is very different or handle, handle issues is very different. Because like, for instance, you know, I'm the type of person, my emotions when they come, they usually come very quickly. Like they're, 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 they come strong, but then they go away very fast. Like they don't stay very long. I don't sit on it. When I have emotions, I don't easily identify them, which I've probably shared on my channel before but it takes me a while to identify them. And then once I've identified them, they're just very deep and there are a lot of them at the same time. So it's a lot different ways of dealing with emotions. Yeah. He thinks we're really different. I think as we are together longer, we're becoming more similar. Yeah. That's what I yes. would say. I, I would say that too. We really like to go bowling. I love bowling. Bowling is a pastime we really like to a do. A pastime. <laughs> We really like visiting big cities. Yeah, fun. And we really like coffee. We are different, but we're we, we're different but the same. Similar. So that is the end. I feel like we answered a lot of questions. More if you, in depth than you probably anticipated us answering. Like I said, if you have any more, just comment them down below. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you did, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell notification follow button. <laughs> and Something like that. let me know of any other video ideas you want to see from both of us. And maybe I can convince him to come back. I will see you guys next Monday. Bye. Bye.